The line to strength this Aggies defense on third and long. Draw play, big hole left side. And it's Marlowe racing out of bounds near midfield at the 48-yard line. Marlowe, the junior running back, kind of a misdirection play. Gets a great block by their, their uh, center, Grant Miller, right in the middle. Hits it right in stride, a nice big hole. He actually runs with the DBs and the wideouts in practice from 33 out. Perfect. And Vanderbilt, what an impressive opening drive, gets on the board first. On first down, Mon rifles it complete at the 39. Breaking one tackle and racing down the sideline, trucking defenders inside the 40. And finally brought down is Anias Smith. What a catch and run by the sophomore out of Sugarland, Texas. The coach is that he catches the ball, gets right up the field. There's no wasted movement. It's a hit it vertically, and then I'm going to get just physical with everybody. And then you love that at the end. Two hands on the four man front, not second and ten. Mon, little pitch play to the near side. Past the 20, inside the 10, lunging for the end zone. Touchdown! Anias Smith, what a run! The option, nice quick decision by Kellen Mon. And then the rest, Smith just showing his athletic ability, getting him into the end zone. Boy, what a run after. Big shoes to fill there. With time, Seals uncorks a deep ball, and it's somehow caught. What a magic reception there by Abdur Rahman. Ooh, Reels it in in front of Fuller. Excellent throw. Nice job of working. And stopping as you're rolling, just stopping to try. They punted the football the last drive, but right now, and that first drive, just solid football. Again, breaking tackles is Jamari Wakefield. Boy, he's one of those backs that over time during a game, you're, you're not willing to step in there and go one on one with him. Continuing to spread it around. Mond out of the shotgun with time over the middle, complete. That's Chase Lane with his second catch. Come on from a hamstring injury that he suffered early in camp, but this is the receiver that Kellen Mond said that he had the most. I mean, every time he touches it, he has you on the edge of his seat because you don't know what move he's going to pull out at that particular time. He's going to field this one in the end zone. He's thinking about taking it out. Oh, he's going. Forget about a touchback. And not a good decision that he's wrapped up at the 10 yard line. Yeah, they're going to have a block in the back, so half the distance uh, on your way to a win. And big fix, hole left fix side. Those things up. Go ahead. Sorry about that, Mike. No problem. Marlowe out to the 40 yard line from the 16. Mon looking to run. Mon nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Sacked. Oh, Dangbo brings him down. Blitzing. It's just the front four taking care of business, keeping Kellen Mon. And that might have been a designed quarterback draw. Mon out of the shotgun. Feeds the tailback, cutting back. This is Spiller. Spiller weaving his way through traffic in the open field. Spiller with one man to beat. Down the 40, past the 30, and inside the 20 yard line. Finally knocked out of bounds by Maxwell Worship. A fantastic job by the offensive line. A little zone blocking, and it allows Spiller the cutback lanes. And then it's just all Isaiah Spiller in the open field. Power, speed. Excellent job down the field by this receiving corp, Texas A&M. Mon gets out of traffic. Tosses underneath at the 10, 5, touchdown, Caleb Chapman. The open, and we talked about Kellen Mond being able to make plays off schedule. He gets flushed from the pocket. Nice job by Chapman of just finding an area you can to make it right. So far, so good with this line tonight. They played well. Seals. Nice Rifles grab. one complete. Beautiful throw and a beautiful catch by the tight end, Bresnahan. 
Drive continues for the Commodores under 10 minutes to play third quarter. Seals. Intercepted. First mistake of the game for Ken Seals. Vertical route where Seals is clearly, in my eyes, throwing a post route. Yeah, that kind of body re reaction, he's looking for Cam Johnson to run. Aggies one of five on third down. This is third and seven. Come on, out of the gun. Completes it at the 13. Nifty move by Preston, who will find first down yardage and then some. Jalen Preston. Four wide formation. The freshman seals, goes underneath, complete, and that'll be good for a first down. Abdur Rahman with his third grab of the night. He's got to have somebody win and man-to-man, -man, which is all this is, cover one. Pressure for the backside, pass is complete. Boy, nice nice throw. throw, good grab. Not a whole lot of body fat on that frame. Another third down of the drive, third and five. Seals on a rollout. Looking deep, end zone, caught it, touchdown! What a throw, and another grab by Abdur Rahman. How about the throw from the true freshman quarterback, Ken Seals? About the only place that he could put it for it to be a completion. Running out of room, over the outstretched hands of the defender, and what a job by Rahman getting his feet down in bounds. I know I've been impressed by the freshman Ken Seals. Of course, the game going on simultaneous to ours. South Carolina, Tennessee. Bond over the middle, completes. One of his best passes of the night as he missiles that one to Cam Brown. Bond and company from the 46. Four-man rush by Vandy. Pass nice. complete. And Kellen Mond starting to heat up a little bit. That's Chapman again. Spiller takes it left side, breaks a tackle at the 40. Inside the 30 and tripped up at the 15-yard line. Finally brought down by Randall Haney. Nice job up front by the Aggie offensive line. And, hey, he's shaking tacklers. And a nice job in terms of his speed and getting vertical up the field. No wasted movement. The next two weeks, really. Mond. Flushed out, looking to run. And inside the 10, some tough hits all the way to the seven yard line, brought down by Orji. And he is true on this one. Made that switch from wide receiver right before the Texas Bowl last year. And keeping it on the ground this time, it's Spiller breaking free. Over 100 yards on the night. And down to the 41-yard line in plus territory, tripped up by Jerkins. Commodores in the red zone. With time, Seals now no time, brought down. First A&M sack of the night. Third and 17, over the middle. Tipped up in the air and accepted. Picked off by Leon O'Neal. O'Neal knocked out of bounds near uh, the 40, 15. and that might be a late flag. It is indeed a frustration penalty on Vanderbilt, and now Tempers flaring on the sideline. And Pierce, after this is tipped up into the air, he, this young man's played one heck of a game, O'Neal, from his safety spot, but Pierce just loses his composure. You can't elevate and slam someone like that after the play on the First field, let alone on the sideline. You know, you, you go back to that throw. This is one of the few poor decisions by Ken Seals tonight. They're, they're right into double coverage. There's no way he's getting that ball to Cam Johnson. Yeah, I think it all started with the pressure on the mm -hmm. sack the previous play, and then you're trying to get it all back at one time, throwing into coverage, as you mentioned. and. A lot of people tuning in right now that never would have thought this would be a one possession game in the fourth quarter. Third and 11, and the Aggies get a sack. No answer for Michael Clemens, the junior college transfer. Consider one of the best jun junior college pass rushers. You got Spiller going, Anaya Smith made some plays, Kellen Mond through the air, he made 
you know, some plays with, Je- with uh, Jalen Preston. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.